Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies. Hi, I'm James Asney. Um, James is one of the top recurve archers in Australia. In the recent shoot, I'm going to say he would have come fourth against all recurve archers in Australia, right? So on the weekend, he shot an amazing shoot, one point off the national record. Score being 673 points at, for a six, at 60 metres for 72 arrows, right? So in comparison, this, that rate, the rating is about a 97 rating, roughly, which is gonna be better than 95% of compound shooters in this state. James is 14 years old. And so, and shoots a recurve. 32 pound limbs, 34. 34 pound limbs, right? So part of the video, what we wanna talk about today is these limbs versus his cheaper limbs, right? So two months ago or three months ago, James shot in the National Junior Championships, which you won, yeah. right? So coming back from that, um, we gave J uh, James these limbs to see what's the difference between cheap limbs and expensive limbs. Because lots of people think I can buy points by putting some, some heavier limbs on or some fancier limbs. So we gave these to James the last time he was working, which I think was last school holidays, and he's been shooting these limbs. And so I just want to give to you James's opinion of these limbs. He's, I'm going to say Fibix didn't give these limbs to me, so I'm not after, I'm not after basically James going, these are great limbs. It's like this is the difference between a $200 set of limbs and a $1,000 set of limbs. Like, why would you do it? Is it worth it? You know, is, is the, are the arrows faster? My sight pins are up, are they more consistent? Are my indoor scores better? Is it a long distance? Where do I see the difference? So where do you see the difference? Yep, so some places I see my differences are in the scores. So it does make me shoot some higher scores, but it mainly averages them out from shooting lo higher, lower scores and higher, higher scores, instead of having a shoot that was like a 650, and then another one that was a 600. So for indoors, you were shooting the cheaper limbs. What was your best score with the cheaper limbs? So my best score was a, approximately a 287. So 287 with cheaper limbs. Yeah. So that's our 300, that's a Vegas shoot. These limbs? I uh, improved it to a 292 brings my average indoor to about a 287. Now some of the improvement, I'm going to say is because you've improved. Is yeah. that fair? Yeah, so. so not all of it is the limbs, however the first day when you got these limbs I think you shot a personal best. Yeah, I did. Right? By a little bit. You know, like, I think it was indoors and I think you jumped up by like five points. Now whether it's because of the limbs or whether you just got better, that's part of the, part of the issue. But then you went outdoors and your scores jumped a little bit. Yeah. So it's not that these limbs are going to make you Australia's best archer because you're Australia's best junior archer with cheap limbs. But what it did is it brought you up a bit. Is that fair? Yeah, it is. So the sights are... These, these limbs, the sights are higher than the cheaper limbs? Yeah, moved about 15 mils up. So 15 millimetres. Now his other cheaper limbs were kinetic carbon limbs. Yeah. Yeah, I think. So these are a carbon limb too, right? So they're both carbon limbs. So you're comparing carbon and carbon. Carbon being a little bit faster than fiberglass. So, but what's different with these limbs, and these are Fibix limbs, but any limb's gonna be the same. The materials are slightly better. So for me, one of the reasons why I like a more expensive limb is it's just going to be more durable. Less likely to have failure. And I just feel like, well, this thing's going to hold together rather than a cheaper limb. The materials are cheaper and less li more likely to break on a cheaper product than a more expensive product. And I think as you start to progress to an elite archer, having better quality limbs 
I want going to be a little bit faster, maybe a little bit smoother, I don't know. They're just a little bit more consistent and less likely to have failure. Did you notice any difference in temperature between like cheaper limbs versus these limbs? No, not really. So with sometimes with cheaper limbs, like wood limbs and stuff like that, you can get differences in your sight settings on a given day. I generally don't notice much difference with the higher quality limbs that I use. And I, I use these limbs. Um, so basically, is it fair that from a cheap limb to an expensive limb, it's not going to make you a champion archer, but it's going to give you a little bit if you're already a really good archer. You can't, it's no use being a beginner and then going, well, I can just grab a thousand dollar bow and be like really good yeah. because I don't think that's going to occur. But if you're really good, I think it will give you a little bit extra. So, okay? Yeah, it is. All right. That's, um, and these are, these limbs were the Fubix. Oh, I've got X's. So I've got X's. So there are, I think it's a 1K carbon. There's 3K carbon. I think 1K is a little bit rarer, and I think it's a little bit quicker than the 3K carbon, but we're talking about two, two or three feet per second. But then inside, there's some stuff in it which makes it a little bit better. But basically, a $1,000 set of limbs. So, anyway, I'm Stephen Hand. And I'm James Ashley. Thanks for watching. Bye.